Greetings, brothers and sisters. I'm Pastor Davis, and I welcome you back to our Wednesday's inspirational and motivational moments, where we bring forth thoughts and ideas to inspire and motivate you to be successful in any calling that may be upon your life. And for our first time visitors, we welcome you to join in on this great message and on all of our messages that we teach here each and every day. So come on in, take a seat, and be a part of this great inspirational and motivational moment. And I'll be right back in just a few moments to begin today's message. All right, my brothers and sisters, we are ready to get underway with our Wednesday inspiration and motivational uh, moments. And now just remember that all of our teaching is a Bible-based teaching. Uh, and so today's uh, inspirational moment is going to be from the book of Romans, chapter 12, uh, verse 2. And the Bible reads as follows. Verse 2 says, And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. That is the scripture that our uh, inspirational moment will be based on today. And what we are dealing with once again uh, on these Wednesday sessions is to be able to lift you up through the power of your thought process. And today's message is simply change your thinking. Now, we begin uh, this uh, year teaching you how to be successful in this your season. And so no matter what it is that you are aiming to succeed in, whether it is in ministry, uh, whether it's in pastoring, uh, teaching, uh, preaching, uh, me, uh, uh, music, uh, poetry, uh, writing, uh, jogging, uh, it does not matter what it is that you are trying to uh, accomplish uh, in your life uh, of this year. Just remember this, is, is that everything that you need to know about being successful can be found right here in the scriptures. The thing is, is, is that you have to learn how to be able to mine the scriptures in order to allow them to teach you how to accomplish your desired goals. You see, God laid down a pattern for us to be able to follow. And he says that if you want to have a walk with him, you must study to show yourself approved. In order to walk with God each and every day, you have to study his word. And his word will provide you with the truth of how to get from point A to point B or from point A to point Z. No matter where you want to go in life, you can get there if you learn to walk in the footsteps of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You see, when God created uh, this universe, he created it in his, in his own way and in his own time. And he made it perfect in every way. He laid out a pattern of how everything was going to operate in this universe. And you see, and if we learn to follow that pattern, we can be successful. And how are we going to do that? We can do that by learning to change our way of thinking. You see, we grew up in life 
think in one way, thinking that we can do everything on our own. Uh, we went to school to get an education, and then we went on to college uh, to learn certain principles of how to be able to do certain things in different businesses or whatever it may be. But one of the things that we must always remember, and that is everything is laid out in a pattern. And if we learn how to follow the pattern uh, of, of the business, uh, of which is once again based on the pattern that God laid out the universe, we can get there. You see, it's, it's about simplicity. And, and, and when we learn to make things simple by changing the way that we think, uh, uh, which we think in complicated terms, we can get to where we desire to go because God wants us to be successful. God didn't create us uh, 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 to be unsuccessful uh, children. Uh, he created us in his own image and, and his own likeness. And we have to be able to be co-creators uh, with God. That is what he created us uh, uh, to do. And in order to do so, we have to learn how to use our thought process. And, and, and we began to do that by, by, by beginning to change the way that we think. We cannot climb uphill thinking downhill thoughts. We cannot continue to go forward by looking in the rear view mirror. We have to be able to have forward thinking. We have to be able to think good thoughts. We have to uh, we have to uh, uh, take our minds and all of uh, uh, the, the, the gutter and clutter uh, uh, that has been put there. We have to deprogram it and, and, and then clean out all of that garbage that's there. And then we have to begin to bring a good thoughts uh, into our mind. And once we begin to bring good thoughts into our mind, we can begin to be uh, co-creators because you see, everything that we do comes from the thought process. Uh, all ideas come from our thoughts. And, and if we are thinking in terms of being uh, creative, we can be able to move up the ladder to where God is trying to push us to and be successful in any calling of that we may have, any calling that may be upon our lives. Uh, we can get there by being able to transform our thought process. That's why the Bible says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You cannot continue to think the same old negative thoughts and expect to have the good results. Because once again, those negative thoughts that are in there are not going to allow uh, uh, you to be able to be successful because you have not planted, uh, planted the positive seeds uh, uh, to be able to follow that pattern that has already been designed for you to be successful. So my brothers and sisters, I just want you to be able to, 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 to pause your thoughts uh, uh, right now and, and, and learn to do the things that the Bible has, has, has commanded us to do. One is to lay out our plan uh, as to the direction that we are going into. And then once you lay that plan out, you have to be able to activate that plan. Because one of the things we understand, you will plan no matter which way you look at it. You're either going to plan to be successful or you're going to plan to uh, for failure. Planning for failure is, none, is, is not planning at all. So, so my brothers and sisters, it's always better to begin to lay out that plan and then to activate that plan. In other words, put that plan into action. And then you go into, into, into 
of meditation and meditate and pray on what God has given to you. And, and as you meditate and pray on it, then you begin to visualize as to how it is all going to, uh, to, to, to intertwine and come together. And then you begin to, to work on it. And the, one of the things that you have to learn to do is to work on it daily every single day in the week. You have to have to work on it. That is developing developing good habits by having good thoughts, training, training your mind to do what God wants you to do. So, so, so in order to do that, you have to learn that you must, you, 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 you can't lay around uh, in the bed uh, 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 all day long and expecting to be able to accomplish your goal. You have to learn to get up uh, early in the morning. As, as my dad used to say uh, to us down on the farm, is, is that the early birds get to worm. And, and, and then on the farm, uh, we have had to get up uh, at three, four o'clock in the morning and go into the fields and then begin to work. Uh, and, and we worked until uh, until time to get ready for school. And then we came back home and got ourselves ready and then went to school. But one of the things is, is, is that my daddy taught us good habits of getting up early and getting out into the fields and getting everything done. And then when the season came in, we had plenty of food to eat. We had had plenty of clothes to wear. We had everything that we needed because because we learned to develop that pattern, that, that 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 pattern, and then work it out in the manner that it had been laid out. You see, my daddy had a plan for success, and you too have a plan for success, and you must be able to activate that plan, no matter what it is that you're doing. If you want to be able to be a good teacher, you have to study uh, uh, teaching. You have to get your degree in it. You have to, and if you want to be a, a, a good swimmer, you have to get out there and you have to you have to practice day in and day out. Uh, if you want to be a good skier, you have to be able to go to the slopes and you have to practice, practice, practice practice. Uh, 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 like Michael Jordan uh, 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 became a successful basketball player, but he wasn't born with a basketball in his hand. He wasn't born uh, 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 being able to shoot the hoops. Michael Jordan got out and he practiced uh, shooting hoops uh, all day long. So once again, if you want to be a successful basketball player, you got to get out and practice. If you want to be a good successful football player, you got to get Get out and, and practice. You want to be a successful singer, you got to get out and practice. Because you see, God gave each one of us a gift. And, and, and in order to develop those gifts, we have to be able to practice, practice, and practice. And if we learn the habits and get into good habits and, and take that pattern and, and practice, we will be successful because God created us to be successful. And the only reason we are not successful because we are not doing the things that God created us to do. We are just stumbling around each and every day doing mediocre work and, 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 and then complaining about what we don't have. And, 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 and we don't have enough to do money to do this. And we don't have enough money to do that. We don't have enough food in, uh, in our kitchen. We don't have a, enough money to send our kids to, uh, uh, to school. We don't have because we do not get out and do what we are required to do. And that is one of the things that God gave us. He gave us all 24 hours in each given day. And the difference between successful people and unsuccessful people are the successful people learn how to use their 24 hours. And unsuccessful people learn how to sit around and watch TV and then complain about what they don't have. You see, that is developing a pattern of unsuccess. But when you develop a successful pattern, you will begin to use the gift of 24 hours that God has given to each one of us to be successful. My brothers and sisters, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Change your thinking, and then you will begin to be successful. Look forward to getting up each and every day 
and doing great things. So what you don't have today, you can have tomorrow, provided you begin to do something about it today. You cannot wait until next week or next year and then say, well, I'm going to have this, this, this. Well, yes, you can have it if you begin now to be able to develop it. You have to be able to work on it day in and day out. That is begin to use the gift that God has given you, that gift of time. Time is important and you have to learn to stop wasting your time and allow other people to stop wasting your time. I don't want people wasting my time all the time. People call me up on the phone and expect to be to be able to pick up my phone and answer their phone simply because they call me. I don't have time to talk to everybody every time they pick up my phone, pick up their phone and call me. You can email me, you can send me a text and I can talk to 20 people in, by, in the same amount of time that I can talk to one person for 10 minutes. So once again, my brothers and sisters, it is not that I don't want to talk to you on the telephone, I have to be able to use my time wisely. I have to be able to schedule my calls so that I can talk to you at a certain period in time. And then once I'm able to do that, I'm using my time and you are not wasting my time. So once again, my brothers and sisters, learn to use the many gifts that God has given to you. Learn to use them wise by transforming your thinking Think, my brothers and sisters, on the goodness of God. Learn to lean and depend upon God, and God will provide you with all things that you need to be successful. God will take you to that high place that you desire to go, provided you learn to lean and depend on him. You can you can walk out there each and every day trusting yourself and in terms of what you're trying to do, but once again, you become frustrated uh, in what you're doing. When you're learning to lean and depend on God, God will do what you ask him to do. He says, we have not because we ask or not. God wants us to come to him and ask him for what we want. And when you ask God for something, you're asking him based on God's character and integrity. God will provide it for you, my brothers and sisters. Learn to lean and depend on God. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Take this scripture, Romans 12 and 2, and write it down, commit it to memory, and learn to use it for your good. Because everything that I'm telling you is right there in those words. And you see, and God will open your mind up. He will open you up and provide you with answers uh, uh, if you go to him and you ask him. We have not because we ask not. My brothers and sisters, that is our Wednesday motivational and inspirational message. And may God bless each one of you abundantly as you go through your life walks this day in Jesus' name.